Okay, here is with Riley Wood, uh, winning pitcher tonight for Atlantic as they're moving on to the uh, Class 3A Region 4 final uh, against Davis County. She pitches a shutout tonight. Riley, got to feel pretty good to get a win and keep moving on. Yes, it was good. The deep, we had good defense, and I could trust that they were behind me the whole game. So, so what was what was working for you tonight? Uh, looked like you were controlling your fastball on the outside part of the plate. Yeah, I was moving my fastball around, trying to change speed and get my movement, which is working. So, so what's the uh, what's the thought? Know anything about Davis County? Because that's that's going to be the opponent. No idea. We're just going to go and play our hardest. So. Well, Riley, congratulations, and you're moving on, and got at least one more. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, you are moving on to the Class 3A Region 4 final against Davis County. Your thoughts on the game tonight, Coach? Um, you know, I think first, uh, first and foremost, Riley did a good job pitching this game, moving the ball around and hitting her spots and used the off-speed pitches, I thought, really, really well against a much, much, much more improved uh, Shenandoah team than probably what we saw earlier down in Shenandoah in the doubleheader, and we were quite well aware of that. Coach Birdoff was going to have them ready to play, and uh, obviously he did against Corinda, and we knew that it was going to be a tough game. So it started in the circle, and then uh, the big hits that we got that uh, uh, I think they gave us a little bit more momentum as well, not only the run on the board from the home run, but uh, you probably noticed the difference in the dugout and the confidence that the girls had as they were coming back out onto the field. So it's uh, those things that I think uh, were the huge keys for the game. Yeah, it really looked like Ryan was definitely in control, um, at least of all of her stuff. It looked like all of her pitches were working. She was commanding the fastball on the inside and the outside, and changing speeds really kind of kept Shenandoah off balance tonight. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that was the thing that uh, we were, have been preaching with all of our pitchers, but particularly with her, is to get stronger as the game goes on. Uh, a lot of times that what pitch that works in the first and second inning isn't working in the uh, sixth and seventh, and I thought felt like she was uh, pretty much uh, spot on all the way through. So, Let's fast forward now, turn to Davis County. Um, what do we know about Davis County, and what can we expect uh, uh, on the 11th? Well, obviously they're good. Yeah. Uh, right? They're the top seed in the region, and they're length four in the state. Uh, we haven't done a, a ton of scouting on them here. We've got a few things that we have to get done, but we do know that they can pitch well. Uh, they've got a good pitcher that's uh, going to give us a huge challenge, and uh, they also can hit. So, uh, you know, it's... The, the thing is, is uh, anything can happen in a tournament uh, kind of playoff atmosphere. It's one and done, and if and we get the right uh, uh, set of circumstances, hopefully we can come away with a victory. Well, Coach, good luck. Congratulations tonight, and best of luck to you on the 11th. Thanks a lot. Thanks All for right. being here tonight. All right, congratulations.